Well, the weekend is here for just about all of us, and uh, with it will be the arrival of 100 degree heat. In fact, we actually hit 100 briefly earlier this afternoon at DFW. I think we'll do it again tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies, a south breeze 10 to 15. We'll take it up another degree on Sunday 101 with a southerly breeze averaging around 10 miles an hour during the afternoon hours. Don't see any hint of a rain in your forecast this weekend. 100 officially at DFW after a morning low of only 80 degrees. Our average high and low for this time of the year, 96 and 75. Record for today, 105, sit back in 2010. So with the 100 degree temperature today, that's 13 the number of times we've reached triple digits in 2014 compared to 19 last year, 27 in 2012. And boy, we were cruising along in 2011, 56 100 degree days through today. Here's a look at the satellite and you can actually see that ridge of high pressure deflecting all the clouds, showers and thunderstorms well off to our northwest, to our north, up into Kansas, to our northeast, uh, into northeastern uh, Arkansas. And that ridge of high pressure will keep us dry not only tonight, but through the weekend into early next week. Here's how your evening forecast is shaping up Friday night plans. Temperatures slowly heading down through the 90s. In fact, I think we'll still be at 92 here in the Metroplex under mostly clear skies at 9 o'clock, dropping down to 89 by 10 o'clock tonight. Outside, we've currently got a 100 degree temperature in Dallas and Mesquite, sitting at 99 in Fort Worth and in Denton. Winds blowing south southwest at 10. Now, the dew point has dropped into the low 60s. When it's that low, your temperature and heat index readings are, are virtually the same. 100 in Plano, 102 in Crum. It's 98 degrees presently in Sherman. 103, the hot spots in Breckenridge, Graham, and Wichita Falls, and it's 99 in Corsicana. Real quickly, we still have not seen a depression develop down here. That uh, area of low pressure is just north of Puerto Rico right now, but it looks like it's just a matter of time before we see Tropical storm crystal ball develop here over the next 24 to 48 hours, but you can see quite a bit of spread from our computer models. Some want to take it through the Bahamas, perhaps towards South Florida. The others recurving it up to the north after it uh, encounters the southeastern Bahamas. Ridge of high pressure will keep us hot through Tuesday of next week, and then this ridge of high pressure will kind of split with one half going to the east. That will allow a cold front to approach some tropical moisture to work in here, and I think cooler temperatures with at least small rain chances as we head into middle of next week. 100 degree heat though Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and again on a Tuesday with small rain chances and cooler temperatures Wednesday through Friday.